I know you want to help her about what happened. Right now, though, stay focused on Anna. She needs to know she's not alone. Even when he messed up, Nick always found the right words. Anna's favorite band. Smooth as always, Nick. Anna always wanted to visit France, but life is just too strange for me there. Hey, are you feeling better? Yeah. Thank you, Sam. Sorry, I just kind of lost it for a second there. Yeah. I mean, careful, Sam. You know you can be indelicate. She needs your support right now. I mean, it hasn't been an easy week, you know? And I've got the feeling it isn't over yet. It's going to be okay. I'm not as sure as you sound. Nick's dead. My house is trashed. Well, you did sound a bit hollow. This whole thing is a mess. But honestly, it's been a mess for a while. Like, everything was fine, you know? Nick moved in. It was nice. But lately, he just closed himself off. He'd been gone most nights. At the bar or the fishing shack, come home late, refusing to talk about his work. It got unbearable. It was almost like I was living with you all over again. It doesn't feel good, but she needs to get this off her chest. Don't be too harsh on her. You're right. I shut you out, and I'm sorry. The past is the past. None of what's happening now is your fault. I'm just lashing out. It's just having you in the house. It's... It's bringing back a lot of things. We had a good... So many memories here, both bad and great. We did have a good time, yeah. But then came Dad's accident. The mine investigation. Your proposal. I still feel horrible about how it all happened. But you... You understand why I said no, right? Face it, Sam. If you had paid attention, you'd have known she wasn't going to say yes. You didn't want a ring. You told me before. I thought it was what you're supposed to do. I thought maybe it'd save us. That's a nice thought. I feel like you're listening now, and I thank you for that, you know? It ended so abruptly, you and I. I don't think I ever took the time to really process what happened. I wonder if it would have ended the same way with Nick. If my relationship with him was as doomed as my relationship with you. The way Nick closed himself off to me the last few weeks. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I can't bear to live with someone, to truly share my life, to make compromises and all that. It wasn't your fault that Nick closed himself off. No one makes someone distant, especially someone like Nick. He must have been on his side. He was dealing with something dark. I know that's why I closed people off. I never spoke to Nick again after leaving town. It doesn't matter anyway, now does it? He's dead, and whatever we had is done. And we're on our own if we're gonna find out who killed him. I'm not backing down from this, no matter what we find. What about you? 
Yeah, I mean... You can count on me, Anna. We're in this until the end. That's good. That's really good. Let's see this to the end, and... Well... We'll see what happens when we get there, right? Whatever happens, we're in this together. Can you take a look upstairs? I still need a moment. Let me make sure I'm done crying and all that. Take your time. I'll tell you if anything's wrong. Thanks, Sam. I remember taking this photo, not seeing it like this. Not what Anna needed. The door is closed. Huh. She never used to lock it. wasn't bad enough already. I should erase it. But then the police wouldn't get the burglar's handwriting. Why is it so dark in here? This room feels so different now. It felt like mine once, but it never was. I asked Anna what this was once, and she laughed at me. I still don't know what it is. Is someone downloading something off Nick's laptop? I think whoever trashed your house just trashed me. Can you stand? Yeah. Yeah. The headache isn't as bad as the one I had this morning. I couldn't get a good look at them. They just sprinted out of the house, and I heard some weird loud engine drive off. Well, whoever it was, they were dumping data off Nick's computer. I must have interrupted them. There's no trace of whatever he took. So what do we even do now? We need Nick's backups, if he has any. Did he ever do anything like that? Boxes in the attic, files to the cloud, another computer? Did he have anywhere besides here and the basswood jungle he kept things? No. No, I don't, I don't think so. I, I don't... Actually, over the last few months, remember I mentioned Nick has been going out a lot to that old fishing shack his family owns? I know the one. I went there with Nick and Bug a few times. He went mostly in the evenings. Most nights, really. 
said he was night fishing. But if he was secretly using it as a second office... It'd be worth taking a look. Your father called, said there'd been a break-in. Couldn't they have gotten here two minutes ago? They'll arrest me if they found Dennis's body. You go out the back. I'll talk to Bess and keep her busy. If you're sure, I'll go to the fishing shack. It sounds like if Nick was hiding something, it might be there. Sorry, I was just in the bathroom. Be right out. Nick's fishing shack. A lot of memories here. Good memories. Anna said he'd been sneaking off here to work on something. I almost hope I don't find anything. Nick, what were you up to? Joan rides this bike everywhere. Which is impressive with how far away everything is out here. What's it doing here? Bug? Muley? How did you... Does my mom know? Does your mom know what? What is this? Mom doesn't know. Good. I've decided to leave town. Bug, that's... this is not a good idea. I've got food for five days. I'll hitchhike and bike down to Virginia. Do you have any idea how far that is? About 80 miles to get down to my Aunt Lisa. My mom hates her. Don't try to stop me. You can't leave like this. Not without telling anyone. <laughs> oh yeah? Why not? That's what you did. She's serious about this. Careful, Sam. This is not a drill. Maybe try to bring up her mother again. Is there something wrong with your mom? No. I'm running away because things are so great. <laughs> Plus, I know what she'll say. Calm down. Think of the common good. She doesn't do anything. Just sits around takes her back pain pills, and stares at the TV like a lump. Well, that was a miss. When it comes to this kid, your instinct is better than mine. The mother, though, we should have a talk with her later. Look, I'm not a child anymore. I'm not asking for your permission. There's nothing for me here. Leaving is gonna hurt the people you care about the most. The way I left was selfish. You're not selfish. The Joan I knew couldn't even hurt a worm, let alone her own mother. I, it's not like I want to hurt her. She just works all the time and then she's too out of it and never listens to me. I think I'm done depending on others. My dad I could rely on, but he's gone. There's nothing else for me around here. I was wrong yesterday. She's not in denial, she's scared. Something terrible happened to him, but no one listens to me, no one cares. I care. I believe you, and I'm investigating like you asked. I know. People at the wake got upset at you over it. Yeah. They did not like me bringing that up. But Nick was my friend. I want to know what happened to him. I care about that, but I also care about keeping you safe. I know you're doing your best. It's just this town, you know? It just feels like it grinds you down. It's choking me, and I need fresh air. I need some place I can think. 
Not here. Sounds like Basswood really failed this kid. I mean, what am I supposed to do tomorrow? Or the day after? In ten years? You like insects. How about someone who studies them? Would you like to be an entomologist? Go around the world, collecting bugs? You remember? Yeah, bugs are cool. That does sound fun. You can leave Basswood that way, but you can't do it without finishing school. It won't be easy, but it's better than just wandering out in the dark. Focus yourself on your goals. I know your father would be proud of that. Look, I'm gonna find out what really happened to him, okay? And you and I, we'll figure this out. About what's next for you, about your mom, life. I need you to trust me. I need you to give me some more time. A few days. You have a few days. Do you want me to drive you back home? No, it's fine. I need to take my bike back anyway. I'll see you later. All right? I promise. For real this time. I'm gonna hold you to that. Now that I've kept your daughter from skipping town, let's see if you've kept anything hidden out here, Nick. Back when Nick and Kathy were college sweethearts. <laughs> Clearly Bug was there too. Joan always liked bugs. There used to be a calendar right here. Why'd he take it down? We used to talk about how hunting was cruel. How much did you change, Nick? He always kept his favorite rod in this special ready-to-go bag to protect it. Bug never was the social type. Just like me. With Nick gone, I guess we both lost our best friend. This is where he kept the rods he'd loan out. So what's his favorite rod doing here? He always kept it separate. <sighs> Locked. Nick always kept a spare key. It'd be somewhere out of Bug's reach. This is where he kept the rods he'd loan out. So what's his favorite rod doing here? He always kept it separate. No keys. It's also not the best place if you wanted him to stay hidden. Nothing here. Probably too high and hard to get at anyway. Don't see the keys. It was probably too obvious a spot. What a fishy hiding spot, Nick. Always did love your cliches. Like many people, Nick kept a few guns, but never at home and always locked up.
These are pretty heavy-duty painkillers. Very addictive. Joan wasn't just acting up. Kathy has a problem. It has to be the same D he was talking to in his emails. Looks like some kind of reminder Nick left for himself. A reminder of what? Nick was trying to find ways to get Joan in college. It's gotten so expensive. An article by Anna about a place called The Cove. Seems it's kind of a commune for outcasts just outside of Basswood. I think I went through everything here. An article by Anna about a place called The Cove. Seems it's kind of a commune for outcasts just outside of Basswood. If Dee met Nick on the day he died, he could be the last person who saw him alive. If Nick kept this, it means it's important. I just have to figure out why. Nick, what were you hiding in this bag that's so important you had it locked up? Wrong combination. Knowing Nick, maybe he left a hint lying around the shack. If Nick kept this, it means it's important. I just have to figure out why. Next note mentioned a caterpillar. I think I just found it.
Doesn't work. There must be something I'm missing. Let's see what we have here. That's a lot of cash. More than Nick could make in a decade. Opioids. From D? Nick, were you looking into drug trafficking? Nick was gathering at the cove, and that's how he found his informant, D. It's the person he met the night he died. I just need to figure out who it is. Richard, a.k.a. Dickie, a.k.a. D. Looks like I found who I was looking for. So that's what it was. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished here in Basswood after the mine closed. He had an informant, Dickie. Probably a low-level drug dealer, and he also had a lot of cash on hand. More than a reporter should. Dickie set up a meeting with Nick, and now Nick's dead. I think he may be the only person who knows what really happened. I need to find him. He lives at this place, The Cove. Or he did. Anna wrote that article on it. She has to know where it is. Bess barely asked about the break-in. She seemed more focused on your fight with Dennis. I'm on top of the suspect list. Or at least I would be if I was her. Bess said I should call her if I found you. She believes you're dangerous. You were right back at the Basswood jungle. I think we're on our own. They'll try to arrest me now. We have to find Dickie. I can't let Joan down. I'm sure Dickie's still there. He had no other place to go. What are you two is a doing? Place. The longer you run from the police, the worse it'll be when they catch up with you. Explain everything. Show them all you found. That's what a sane person does. So, how should we handle finding Dickie? I don't have any great ideas, but I know I'll do what I have to do. At least we're equally clueless. There's comfort in that. Yeah. I hate feeling like the only one in the dark. The dark isn't as spooky when someone else is with you. We just need to be careful and look out for each other.
This town has like 17 people in it. You've met the killer. I'm not saying you have to run and hide. Just be careful about the lion's den. You have options here. Real life isn't as clear as the world in your head. Just know the more you poke around, the more likely the world pokes back. And whoever is involved in all this, they poke real hard. If that even makes any sense. That's rough. That's rough? Were you even listening to me? Uh, mostly. Mostly. Sam, what is with you? Because you've got this. Easy. Look at you. So together. You got so drunk, you've forgotten anything that could have been remotely useful. Your friends are turning up dead. That's not fair. Shut up. Sam. I... Sorry. I didn't... I just... I didn't mean it that way. Don't. Don't take all of this out on me. So you're just gonna keep telling me off? Disregard my advice? Well, if you think you know better, Sam, no reason for me to linger. <laughs> Enjoy your little investigation without me, Sam. Don't get us killed, okay? Here. This is the cove. Huh? Get your head on straight. The cove. We're here. Right. 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 It's not like I have much of a choice. Sam, if you need to take a moment. No, let's, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs>